Hi guys, it's Circle M. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're here at the Lone Star Armory Run and Gun in Waco, Texas. I got Clark here with me. Hi guys. We're waiting our turn to go. We got a little bit of time left, but we did a pickup gun stage, so you'll see that next, and we got some other cool stuff. Unfortunately, I had to change my battle belt setup because someone who promised me two Glock mags <laughs> left me up a creek. So I'll keep you guys I ended updated. Up using them. I'll keep you guys updated, and I'm gonna try to wear my helmet and GoPro, and hopefully that'll work out. So I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, so we're here a little bit early. It's not our turn to shoot yet, but we're at Landtac for one of their triumph gun stages. Yeah, stand by. Oh. Yeah, so from the from the passenger er, from the driver's seat, pistol, orange, orange, orange. Pick up the rifle, load it. Through the same window, three red. Get out with the safety on. To the white. The two whites and the small little one move to blue, two blue. Correct. Alright. Alright. I'm ready. <laughs>
Hey guys, finally finished with a run and gun. Looking forward to watching that GoPro footage. I did pretty good. I beat Clark on a couple of stages. That's all I wanted. And unfortunately for one of them, I forgot to turn the GoPro on. So, eh. oh well. Alright guys, we're back at the hotel and as you can see from my previous video, they had a pretty nice concert and barbecue for all the competitors, so that, that was nice, it was really enjoyable. But now that we're back, I got all my gear laid out and I'm going to go over kind of what was what and who was who and how that ended up turning out. So, for pistol, I got a full box here that I didn't use and then out of this box, I got six left over, so I did the math and it comes out to 87%. On pistol, I got 87% uh, of my shots were hits, so that's pretty good. On the rifle, I didn't do quite as good. I got 30, 60, 90, plus 10, so 100, and then 5, so 105, and I brought uh, 240, so that comes out to be about 80, or I'm sorry, 66, 67% hit to miss on the rifle, so I feel pretty good with that. The wind was really bad today. As for the belt itself, as I mentioned, I had to change it. So as it happens, my dump pouch, unfortunately, two nights ago, I was doing some reloads. I got a little too aggressive and, well, that was the it. So I had to borrow Clark's dump pouch, high speed gear. And it's, it's a piece of junk. I hate this thing. It's awful. I'm glad I didn't buy one. But uh, this flap always gets in the way when you're trying to get into it. You can fold it up with Velcro, but it, it's still in the way, and it has a weird, like, flop to it, so you really gotta fish to get your mags in there. Other than that, I, I pretty much kept things very, very similar. I still got my three cloths here on the back, and then in the front, I got my, my fast mag stack. So I put the two fast mags in the back, and then the pistol on the one in the front. I ended up switching back to my cloth holster given that I had a balance issue. I had so much weight on one side of the, uh, on one side of the belt that it just kind of threw me off. So I switched back to that. And then in here, I carried my stripper clips, a box of 59 millimeters and a water bottle. And I carried my spare water bottle in my pocket, in my pants. I was good to go. So it is a pretty good match. What's up guys? We're back on Sunday, ROing for a stage here. Clark's here with me. We got to wait to get our awards till 5.30 and it was like, well, you know, we're going to be sitting around all day, so we may as well volunteer. So here we are. We're on stage three. We had some pretty good shooters come through so far and no one's died, so that's good. No one fell in the creek either. So we'll keep you updated and see how things go. All right, guys, I'm here with Ben. I just wanted to throw it out there. He's running with a grand and man, he's a beast because that's a heavy sucker. So good luck. Head on down to the next stage. Here's the prize table for the match. Got some gift cards. Got some CMC triggers for first place. They got Desert Eagle 45 ACP. Some muzzle brakes. Bolt carrier group cleaning rod. Charging handle. Cards. Pretty nice. Look at scope. Neat certificates. Rail. Chamber chiller. Couple of hats. And there are the trophies. Stand by. Mm, I was slow on that pickup. Alrighty guys, so we're back and finished. I'm sorry it didn't get this done earlier, but I had to get up to do stuff on Monday, so I'm doing it now. But second place, here's all the stuff it came with. It was a pleasure to do that match and everyone there who helped make it possible. So special thanks to the ROs and everybody who helped set it up and make it happen. It was really a pleasure. I was very surprised when they called my name, but I trained really hard and that's exactly what I worked for. I'm looking forward to doing the next match. I think it's coming up in June, they said. So maybe I'll see some of you guys there. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love to hear from you guys. You send me a comment, a message, a like, a subscribe, anything like that. And I hope to see you guys next time.